coming up in this week's episode. One, two, three, Bobby! Come on! Come on Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, man. Welcome back to Rising Ballers. Today, my name is LB and I'll be commentating this game for you. Today, we've got Rising Ballers against Hillingdon Borough. Hillingdon Borough are currently sitting at the bottom of the table. So this is a game that the boys are expected to win. And in the current form that we are in, we should be collecting three points here. Nothing more, nothing less. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the pre-match antics and then the lineup so we can see the ballers who will be representing Rising Ballers today. Nine, ten, eleven, four. As you guys can see on the screen, there is a lineup. Today we're set up in a traditional RB formation, 4 4 2. You know what they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Between the sticks, we've got Stefan, we've got a back four of Aaron, Toby, Sean, and Mo. The four across the middle are Ezekiel, Yusuf, Zach, and Alpha. And the two up top, we've got Bilal Bihi and Stefan. And on the bench, we've got Denilson, Dom, Ali, Lil Mo, and the return of Ayub. If you guys remember, he was a pivotal player at the beginning of our season, one of our midfielders, but he was sadly injured. Hope we can get him back on the pitch today and get him back up to speed with the boys. Let's get into the pre-match antics and then this game. One thing I dislike from, you know, teams in general is when we're fantastic in training, we start fast in training, we have a high tempo in training, we go into the game and do the complete opposite. You haven't done it yet, all right? Don't let it be today, okay? We've been in this situation before. We've gone away to a team struggling on a awful pitch in Bagshot and we threw the game away, okay? This has to be right. The mentality has to be right first. Set pieces, we double up, we triple up and we f***ing punish. All right, boys? Your attitude's been absolutely spot on. Let's go out there and get four f***ing wins, boys, man. Oh, 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 shoot on sight, shoot on sight, shoot on sight. Well, then. You've been so unlucky as well. Where's the other team? That's four. Get down there. Sponsor me. <laughs> And we've got a kickoff on your screen right now. I'll be on the beautiful blood red kick because we're out for blood today. Nothing short of three points in this game. And we've got Helen Dembara in the blue kit. As you guys can see, nobbling and bobbling the pitch is not the greatest of quality, but that will not be a complaint. The boys are expected to win this game. They are the favourites. And you know when the pressure's on, that's when you perform the best. Hopefully the boys can live up to the standard and come away with three points today. Helen Dembara seems to be cultivating an attack here down the left-hand side. They play out to the winger. Is he going to take on Aaron 1v1? No, he doesn't. He opts to slip in one of their attackers. He gets in, to be fair. Opts to try to cross it. Nothing comes of that. I think that's Zach just cleaning up. Will he go big? Ooh, nice and composed there. Toby's going to go big. That's a captain over the top there. Where's he going to drop? Just on the edge of the box, but they get headed towards the middle of the pitch. We've got a lot of 50-50s here. Who can get their foot on the ball? Who can make something happen? And that is great skill there, but unfortunately nothing comes from it. And they do not make any mistake getting that one clear. That's Mo to throw it in there. And we've got Yusuf on the turn. He's going to pull the trigger. He sets toward the middle of the box. Oh, that's a cheeky fake. And it takes a shot. And just like that, in quick succession, in less than three minutes, Stefan puts himself on a score sheet and gives Rising Ballers a 1-0 lead against Helen Dunbarra. And that's, that's a brilliant way to score your first goal for the team. Stefan, just with great feet, absolutely send number six to the floor. That's the captain, to be fair. I think it was a good build-up from the boys. Yusuf done very well there, just to shake out his man and look for um, Stefan in the middle of the box. We take a one new lead very early on. Hopefully, we can keep this head, this head, uh, head speed going forward and come away with three points. They set up here looking for maybe a cross off the right-hand side. He's taking a touch when he offered a cross. That's a, that's a poor cross, to be fair. Landing front post there. A bit of misconfusion there. And uh, there were shouts for a corner, but we move on to the next clip. Stefan's number one here. Will he slow things down? Ooh, that is cheeky. Reverse step over and he's tried to switch it there to Alpha, but nothing came of it. And they come away with the ball. No, they don't because you play it line now. We've got 1v1 for Stefan. Ooh, touch taking him a bit wide. One on one. What can he do? Can he go on the inside? Up for a pass. That is great overlapping play there. Ooh, he swipes at him. Is he going to get the ball though? Can he look for a pass? He's beaten one. He's beaten two. He's gone down. Maybe done a bit too much. The referee sees nothing wrong with that. 
Once again, we've got the ball down the left-hand side. The decision was made to go line. Mo collects it, even though the pass wasn't intended for him. Can he cut it back? He does cut it back. Stefan's got a chance to shoot. He does shoot. And it's a good block there from the number six, making up for his earlier mishaps. Yusuf just intercepts that one. Zach's on the ball. Always composes ever. That's a brilliant ball over the top. Will he be able to get an end of it? Can Mo get an end of it? Maybe can he force a corner by any chance? One of their players has done very well. They're shouting for the referee. Nothing's coming out. Zach pulls the trigger. Oh! My... And that is one of the worst ways to deny a definite goal of the season contender by Zach. He just ran onto that one and absolutely doffed it. It's come off the crossbar and gone in, but due to the foul there that was committed by Mo, I think in his attempt to pressure the opposition player off the pitch, it's been given as a foul and the goal did not count. And as you guys can see, the bench are more than in dismay of what happened there. Very proud of Zach's finish there, but that's a great challenge for their number nine. Taking it down the right hand side, Mo there, maybe got a bit complacent. He's opposite to the hoof it into the middle of the box. Really not trying to make anything happen here, Linden. Now, as I say that, they got it set up on the right hand side. They look for a pass down the line. Number 10's got the ball. He's got so much space to drive in. Opposite cross it. That's a great cross from him, to be fair. Anyone got an end of that, that could have been a real dangerous thing for the boys. The ball's gone down the right hand side. I think we will get to on the end of that. That's good defending from Sean just to trap back and prevent anything from happening. They've got it building on the left-hand side. Zach lunged in for a challenge but couldn't get on the end of it. It's a 1v1 and if Sean gets beaten, we'll be in big, big trouble. He dives in there for a block. That's a great block. He helps to block it with his head in the second one. Might as well can't start calling him Melanin Vidic. That is, that is dedication and, and, you know, real commitment to the team there to put your, really and truly your health on the line there. Because if that shot comes off a bit harder, he could get concussed. But nonetheless, the boys have been able to keep this 1-0 lead less than 30 minutes into this game. We're just over the 30 minute mark right now and we've managed to get that one clear um, because Yusuf got it on the volley. That's a great touch on number two to be fair to get past Belal. A challenge was made there. I think uh, accidentally Yusuf left the leg there and the foul's been given. That's a decent cross to be fair. Just flashed across the front post. Number 11 ups for the strike. Shouts for a handball. Referee didn't call it and they've managed to get from that a goal. Now, maybe some subscribers will talk about the fact that that wasn't a foul from Yusuf. I think if I'm an opposition team, I'm calling for it. Zach's deflection was not reacted to quick enough by us, and we've been punished for that fact. Hillenden Borough won, Rising Ballers won. And from kickoff in true non league fashion, we go big. Trying to go over the top. Oh my god, it's landed exactly where it needed to. Yusuf's gone in there a bit audaciously with their captain. Unfortunately, no one's injured it, and unfortunately, nothing's come from it. One of their players is going to collect it. Stefan's over there, though. He plays down the left hand side. Bilal cutting on your player. He takes it first time. Obviously, cross it. Can we get a shot off? Oh no. Unfortunately, Alpha could not um, control that, that cross, but it was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Stefan opts to hold up the play and gives a half decent pass to Aaron, who gets uh, the fortune of the bounce. He gets the review off to Alpha. He cuts back in on the same side. He got the ball from. Sorry, Ezekiel there. Ezekiel that just pulls straight. Maybe he should have gone on the opposite side because he did already get the ball off the right hand side. Cutting back onto that side, you know, really tightened his angle. Toby gets ahead on the ball. Maybe he tried to flash across the box for someone to tap it in, but nothing's come from it. And they tried to go big. Yusuf hits the man on shout and he beats one, man number one. We've got Ezekiel stepping up for that free kick. It seems that's going to land back post, maybe to the heads of Toby. He had his head shots for a handball. Referee sees nothing wrong with it. The ball's landed edge. Yusuf takes it first time, just scuffs it a little bit. And do, they do get a second clearance there. And I think that's the second challenge from their number nine on Yusuf in quick succession, less than about a minute or two. This is Toby's claim for the handball. The referee sees nothing wrong with it. But he will be booking number nine for his second challenge on Yusuf. And to be fair, that's got to be a booking after the first one. Stefan takes the shot there from the free kick. Quite an audacious attempt. But nothing special for the keeper and he's, he collects that one quite easily. They've got the ball down the right side with it up for an early cross. That is the most airy cross I've ever seen in my life. So much lift, no direction. And just like that, the halftime whistle has gone. Rising Ball has won, Hillington won. I'd be interested to see what the halftime team talk looks like because the boys haven't been on the B side of this game, but they really haven't been in clinical in and around the box after the first chance from Stefan, which directed the goal was for his first goal for Rising Ballers. Let's get into the halftime talk. Hopefully the boys can come out with their heads switched on and collect three points in this game that, to be fair, we should be getting. Boys, I, I think we need to understand that the game ain't played on paper, all right? Anytime we go to these bottom of the leagues, we're struggling. Sometimes your ability goes out of the window, yeah? And you have to take into consideration conditions, the pitch, their desire. We, we've touched on it every single game. The cameras are out, all right? You wear that RB shirt every single team will give 50% more against you. They'll roll over against Sandhurst and Langley, get six, seven, eight. That's what they'll do. But against RB, no chance. Think they want to get f***ing embarrassed. Believe me, believe me. Any young boy you come up against, especially these boys in here, they're your fans. 
Monday they switch on YouTube and they watch. That's what they do. Right, that, that, right, that, that. They might hate on you or they might fucking love you. But either way, they're your fan. You think he's going to let you come and roll over? They're going to fight 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I told you. We've been here before against Bagshot. The only difference is it's half time now. Okay? You have to want to win. You touched on something I agree with you. All right? One ball from Toby over the top. One ball from Sean over the top. I think the other one might have been from you. One we scored. One Torreira almost scored. Another one to be here across the face of the goal. On his touch. Straight away. Bang. I'm seeing the three of you. Half-hearted press. On his touch. As soon as it touches his foot, his knee, his shin, whatever it is, on him. But Zeke's and Torreira have to follow up. Okay, T, I know you've been doing it, Torreira. I know you've been doing it. Boy, show me some f***ing heart, some desire. They're going to be on it 90 minutes, yeah? That last 45, you need to up it. Come on, 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 come on. And you guys heard the half-time message. It's very clear. Three points is the minimum that we expect from this game. And then they kick us off. They spray it down the right-hand side. The gaffer, um, sorry, the captain's gone big. And I think Arby do come away with that ball. Bilal fighting, hustling and bustling for the ball. While Helen do regain possession. They've gone big in the middle of the pitch. Where would this one? Like, who can get their head on the ball? Number 11 goes up to claim it. Shots for a free header from the gaffer. But no one really gets their foot on it. Yusuf goes in there a little bit late. And a foul's been given. We've got the captain stepping up for a free kick there. That's a Roberto Carlos-esque free kick. I think that was outside the boot there, but nothing too special. We do come away with that one. I think they've tried to play out from the box. Ooh, Zach's gone in there a little bit high, although he did get the ball. I won't lie, I can fully understand what the referee's given that one. He has got the ball, but he's gone in all studs visible. And for that reason, Zach has been booked. And number five, if you guys don't understand why he's being booked, it's because there was a little bit of afters that we were not show on camera. And he was the main instigator in that situation. For, for that reason, he's earned himself a yellow card. Stefan's on the left hand side. Maybe could have gone for a left foot attempt to cross. Sets the ball back there towards Mo, who maybe will opt to cross. It's a little bit too airy. It will land back post though. Someone's on the back post. That's Ezekiel off the back post. As you can see by the reaction on the bench, everyone thought that one was heading into the back of the net. It's great timing and great technique to be fair to catch that one right out of the sky, but he couldn't direct it goalwards. And as you guys can see, there's some substitution going on. We've got Denilson, Dom, and the return of Ayub. Hopefully he can get his foot on the ground and get back into the game, back into the flow of things and back competing with the boys. Oh, that is an audacious attempt. And then number nine's come off the crossbar, fortunately for us, but we'll have a look at that one more time. The captain opted to go big, landed middle of the box. There was a bit of a shanked attempt there and he's taking it first, second off his second touch, to be fair. Directed the goal as but the crossbar was our saviour in that situation. The game is still 1-1. We're approaching the 70th minute. A game really and truly that I feel like we should be winning. A bottom of the table really shouldn't be an issue for us, but Stefan's on the charge down the left-hand side. Doesn't look like number 15 was going to catch him in time. Can he get the pass off? He takes one too many touches. The referee's giving it the other way. A little bit of afters from the Hillenden defender. And this kind of situation with Stefan, you just got to play it. That one more touch gave the defender enough time to get his body across. He's done very well there, to be fair, number 15. And misdirect Stefan. Another one for the two of them. Can Stefan get away this time? And that is a, such an unnecessary trip from the 15. He potentially will be booked for that. Fortunately for him, he was not booked, but there's a free kick off the left-hand side. We were not able to direct the goal as a target was Toby, but we do win a corner from that. Denilson steps up from the corner off the right-hand side. He's lofted it. That one's going to land in the middle of the box. The keeper's done more to get a hand to it. No one there to get the rebound on it. Zach's gone in 50-50 with their captain, and a foul's been given. Approaching the last 15 minutes of the game, Sean shanked that one. He's gone to the floor, but Denilson does luckily get the rebound. He plays the ball down the middle. Dom gets his first touch on it and gets absolutely taken out there. That is definitely a goal scoring opportunity, but the offside was given. So there'll be nothing coming from that situation. Have a look at that one more time. Dom was definitely clipped up by number six. Tactical foul though. You can't hate him for those ones, but it was given as an offside. Toby goes up for the header. The ball's landing to the middle of the box. You've got Ayub chasing it. The ball's in the middle of the park now. Number nine, can he play? Can he start a counter-attack? He can start a counter-attack. He plays on the inside of Zach, but one of their players going out for it. We've got our foot in it though first. That's Ezekiel that's seen that ball out. Fakes it one way. Maybe gonna look for a pass. He cuts another clip. Yusuf looking for one down the line. He does play it down the line. Denilson has been blocked by one of their players. That's number three. Can he hold Denilson off though? Unfortunately for him, he can't. Denilson absolutely sells him one way. He's driving towards the floor. Maybe he loses balance there. Was that a foul? Let me know down in the comments below. But it was given regardless. And lands towards the edge of the box. Denilson chases the rebound. Can he look for a pass? He cuts the wrong way. Plays it towards the middle of the park. Yusuf left foot pass. Maybe aim towards Toby. Lands it backwards. Ayub's there. But unfortunately, he couldn't direct it goalwards. And it's been given as a corner. Last 10 minutes of the game and the ball's just all over the place right now. Number 9 of a beautiful switch pass towards the edge of the box. He's taking a shot. And Steph's made himself big enough to keep that one out. 
This game, a game that we were really in control of, is looking end to end right now, looking like anyone could take the lead. The notion has been absolutely betrayed by his boots. Ayub there working himself back to the game. Referee sees something wrong with that, and I think similar to the Zach challenge, I think it was the 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 method in which he went in for that challenge. It wasn't the challenge itself. As a game against last place is a game that we should really be picking up points if you want to look towards challenging playoffs and even winning this league. We need to win this game. The 90th minute, it is 1-1 against the last of the league. Oh my goodness. You can't get a dirtier challenge than that. That is non-league personified. And Mo seems to be getting the worst of these challenges. Last week against Rainers Lane and now once again against Hillingdon Barra. It seems like he's got a target on his back. That's how he's a good player to be fair. The ball's been pinged back post. Uh, they they did receive a yellow card for that challenge. Just to update you guys, Toby just holding up, trying to make something happen. The ball's been sprayed back post. Mo will go in for it with the goalkeeper, but he just sees it out. These are the dying minutes of this game. I cannot stress this enough. We are playing against last place. We are looking for at least a playoff position this season. This cannot be a challenge for us. And number nine had absolutely shanked his one true chance to win them this game. Or did I speak too soon? Commentators curse. The ball's down the edge of the box. There's contention for everything. Shouts for handball. We played it out. They've received on the edge of the box. So they're going to play out for a cross. They do play out for a cross. Shouts for offside. It's not given though. And number nine takes that one first time. He drilled it towards the box. Zach shanks that clearance. They take it first time on the edge of the box. Takes the deflection. And it's out towards the right hand side. Aaron's charging that one down. He does not want it to go off the pitch. Will he go big? He does opt to go big. He's lofted it. Has done managed to spin his man. Unfortunately, he hasn't spun his man. Number three's done very well to hold it up, to be honest. He probably should probably play it back. And just like that, the game has ended. Rising Ballers won, Hillingdon Borough won. I'm in more than dismay at the fact that we didn't come away with three points on this game. Regardless of the position at Hillingdon Borough, it's the fact that we controlled the game so much early on. We had a lot of clear cut chances to make something happen, and we just weren't clinical enough in the final third. Now, let's get into the league table and see what that one point does for us towards our playoff charges, if not our league contention. And as you guys can see on the league table, that one point. It keeps us at 6th place, just 1 place short of the playoff spot. As you guys can see, Rainers Lane, you have played 23 games, which is 3 games more than us, are 2 points ahead of us. Simple maths. If we had won that game with our goal difference, we would have gone into 5th place and had a solidified playoff position at this point in the season. It's going to be a disappointing feeling for the boys and the captain and the gaffer as well, but I'm sure we'll come back next week bigger and stronger and ready to fight once again for a playoff position if not challenged in this league. We are more than capable, if you look at the points in the games played, of challenging at the upper end of the league, which are currently in and around. But we'll see what happens next week. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. This has been LB, this is Rising Ballers, and we'll see you guys next week. Shouting and swearing and f***ing all of that stuff, it kind of indicates that we've taken a step back, and that's definitely not the case. Yeah, definitely not the case. You know, we, we've all played football for a long time. We understand conditions play a big part. And what I will tell you, boys, because I just said at the beginning about the pitch, about the conditions, about the team's bottom of the table. Hillen and Borough, twice. CB Hounslow, back shot, twice. Five games, 15 points on offer. How many we take? Seven. Seven. Now, here's the difference. Sandhurst, these are the two teams that want to win the league or the couple teams that want to win the league. Sandhurst give them six. Langley give back shot today five, okay? Rainers Lane, yeah, it's all played on 4G or whatever. Give them eight. Why? They understand their roles, their responsibilities. Not everything is pretty. If it doesn't look pretty out there, it's not going to be a pretty day. When you go to Slough, when you go to Rainers Lane, when, we, when we're getting those pitches and it looks pretty, be pretty. Be cute. Do what you need to do. Keep that ball. There's other ways of winning football matches, boys. But listen, we, we don't dwell on them games. Like he said, we're, we're going we're gonna to drop points. It happens, okay? We're not 2004 Arsenal. Hey, loves them once. <laughs> we're not. We can dwell on it, but the aim is to learn. Okay, if you were perfect, boys, you wouldn't be playing here. Simple as that. The aim is to learn. Understand the games. Understand the gritty games, the ugly games. Because that's where we're dropping points. But I'll tell you something. Reaction, every action has a reaction, right? And what a f***ing better way to go into Langley and make a f***ing reaction, make a statement. Me, obviously, got that injury like what, a month ago now, obviously. A month and a bit ago, but... Um, it's not too bad, it's not looking too bad. A little fracture, but now, so, be back in a couple, couple weeks. Got a little niggle, um, when's the last game we played against? Woodley. Got a little niggle there, came off in the 60th minute. 
try training in, felt it again, went to the physio, told me about two weeks, it's been a week. So hopefully by next Saturday I can be in the squad again. And then talk to us about what you saw out there today. First of all, the pitch was horrible. So I don't blame the boys, but lack of quality. Well, it's hard to do that on the pitch. Um, not really enough chances created from us, to be fair, if you think about it. And we defended pretty well. It was a solid game. A few new players, so it's a bit... It's a bit hard to... They're not used to playing with each other quite yet. That's pretty much it. And obviously next week, Lanley, Jerry, it's a big game. What do you think the boys need to do? Big, now? big, big game. I think the boys just need to come with their heads screwed on and know what they need to do and just battle. I think that's going to be probably one of their biggest games of the season. And the boys just got to go in flying. I think it's going to be a game suited to both teams. They both, we both like to play. Yeah, 100%. So we'll just see who's better. Literally. All right, cheers, guys. Get well soon. Get soon back, man. Soon.